Katy Perry has come under fire for a design that some say evokes blackface. The Katy Perry collection has pulled two styles of these shoes in response to the controversial Let me tell you something. To all the people that find this problematic, will you please kill yourself? Because you're making my entire life problematic right. with your, I find this problematic. Nobody finds this problematic. This stuff's been out for a long time. It's, it's insane. Awesome. She's Katy Perry. She shoots whipped cream from her nipples. Who cares? <laughs> Please. She made a shoe that is not about blackface or a blackface shoe. She made a shoe that reminds some people of a thing they don't like. Like we're at the point now where it's if it reminds you of a thing that you don't like, yeah, I, you can't do that. I find that cloud problematic. Yeah. It's taking the shape of a Klansman's <laughs> horse. <laughs> like, would you kill yourself, you assholes? Please kill yourself. You're infecting my life. You're really, you're really making a bad. I'm this close to getting a dragon tattoo. I'm so <laughs> angry at you people. Phoenix, and, Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix. Same. Phoenix. Phoenix. <laughs> and hey, please, ben. I hate that. yes, I'm working on my tat. Listen, the, the, face down uh, on a donut. You see Game of Thrones? That's like to have. All right, I'm getting that on my back. Okay. All right, and and listen, all the news outlets, knock it off. So please stop reporting this stuff as if it's something. Mm. Please, it's not. It's Katy Perry. Mm. She's making shoes. They come in different colors. They have faces on it. Not everything's blackface. Please knock it off. And and Katy, don't apologize. What, oh, what did Katie... she, uh, she apologized. She said, I was saddened when it was brought to my attention that Sad. it was being compared to painful images reminiscent of blackface. Our intention was never to inflict By the way, any Katy pain. Perry has dumb face. Mm -hmm. Did everyone <laughs> think like she looked... She, <laughs> She it looks yeah. like she's thinking about something stupid, right? She's caught in a head lighter, too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Listen, don't apologize. When you apologize, you make it worse. Mm. You tell everyone to get over themselves. This has nothing to do with anything. I make shoes. Mm. They're in different colors. Many shoes come in black. Jesus Christ. Don't apologize. And this isn't hurtful to anybody. Her shoes aren't hurtful right. to anyone. Blackface may be hurtful to people. Her shoes aren't. Just... Right. Man up, Katie, if that's possible, and just tell everyone to shut up. Well, she did you one better. She removed them. Okay. There yeah. you go. There you go, everybody. Have everything shut down. Mm -hmm. Kick everyone off of every board. Close down. Put a, put a warning sign up in every every school, on every fire station. It's everywhere. Just everyone. Just shut down everyone because you find things problematic, you pussies. Or you could do the noble thing, which would be kill yourself. Like, I'm, I'm not kidding. Kill yourself. I'm getting tired of you. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you're miserable. You should be killing yourself. You're miserable. You're miserable piles of shit if this is a complaint. And I don't even think there is a person. Yeah. I don't. I really don't think, who is the person? Random people pontificating on All the right, internet. All right, this is Katy Perry's fault. Shut up.
She shouldn't. No. She shouldn't be apologizing or fine or releasing statements about how hurtful it is. You validate. She tell everyone to shut up. Well, this is something that I've been thinking about forever, <clears throat> considering myself an, an ally of most people. When you start turning your allies into your enemies, they don't know how to be your allies anymore. And so why are you why are you doing that? You're not helping the group you claim to love so much or to look out for by finding this in every in every corner and every turn. You are not helping a group. If you have a group of people and you go, you know, if I have a daughter, wait a minute, I do have a daughter. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't say to my daughter, hey, society has it out for you. You're uh, on the low end, the the playing field is is tilted and you're at the bottom and you're gonna have to work twice as hard as any man. And then we walk down the street and everything I find backs up that assertion. Like, oh, see the way that guy's moaning his lawn? See the way he turned when he saw you coming? Because he wants to get away from you. Because you're a woman and he's trying to hold you down. That would poison her brain. It would poison her. It's the worst thing you can do for any group ever. And these narcissistic a-holes have no idea what they're doing to the black community or what they're doing to the any community. Are they, they know or they don't care because they're crushing them. This is soul crushing when you do this to a community. It's the worst thing you can do to any group is to suggest they have a target on their back or they're not wanted or of the rest of the people in the community of the group, they all don't like them. I don't care if you're black, Hispanic, lesbian, or female. I don't, I don't care if you're, if I if my kid was walking into a Chuck E. Cheese and I said, most of these people here don't like you, okay? So just be careful and understand. That would ruin their entire experience. It would ruin it. You guys are the most selfish assholes on the planet. You're ruining these groups. You're ruining them in the name of virtue signaling. You get to be a hero. They are going to be ruined and you have no idea what you're doing. You have no idea how evil you are. This thing was like, I'm going to save everybody. I'm going to protect everybody. You're ruining them. You're ruining them with your virtue signaling. You guys are assholes and you should kill yourselves. Other than that, I have no thoughts on the subject. (laughs) Nobody, I swear to God, I'm the only one who fully understands how dangerous this is, how insidious this is. To raise a whole nother group, a whole generation of young black kids to think they have a target on their back, living in the freest country in the world, you're ruining them. You have no idea how irresponsible this is. No idea. You're ruining these kids. You're ruining a generation. And you don't care because you get to get reelected or you get to get clicks on your uh, website or you get to do whatever and you get to be a hero. God, I hope you all rot in hell. I'm an atheist and I hope you rot in hell. You have no idea what you're doing in the name of being a hero. I hate you. I hate these people. They're ruining this country. They're ruining this group. The the only message should be, we're in the greatest country in the world. We're in the freest country in the world. Now go out and make some hay while the sun shines.